Привет, Роша. Hello. Looks like it's perfect to work us. <laughs> yes, it is actually strange. We're not sent to uh, agenda items and didn't show up yet. But let's uh, let's wait for him. Oh, I hear it say it's on in Slack at least. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, his Slack still shows what he's uh, away. Ah, no, I meant like I just saw the message he sent yesterday. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah the okay. meeting is still on today. Yeah. Hey there, I was having uh, issues with the password again. Morning. Please send an email to see everyone. Uh, let's see, let's see. There. Might be better on there. Yeah, here we go. A group reply, yes. There we Well, I'm still waking up. <laughs> yeah. All right. And let me pull out the meaning notes. And start sharing on my screen. And Nikolai is here actually. So um, I saw that his topic was here, uh, was on the agenda last time. So probably you know, bump it up at first. All right. Um, well, it, it was not really a question. It was just a discussion. I just captured it, what, what we discussed. Yeah. But uh, uh, Nikolai, if you, if you want to chime in and you have additional questions, welcome. Uh, no, there's no questions this time. No, no it's uh, it, it's fine. I think that we get a good discussion, exchanging of um, ideas and what's going on in various communities out there about this. So yeah, fine for now. Thanks. All right. Uh, do you want to like? Is there any topic you want to? Uh, sorry. Is there any specific question you wanted to like? Um, talk about uh i don't know if this is di directed to me but uh, no no nothing nothing specific we we kind of did pretty big uh, let's say um, extensive uh say walk through various topics last time uh, okay I kind of stole the floor last time so okay i'm here to listen <laughs> now no worries. 
All right. Um, I probably forgot to do the meeting introduction. So hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Renaud. Today is on the 8th of December. Um, and this is the pod, uh, container orchestrated uh, device work group uh, meeting. On the agenda, um, we have CDI next steps and we have KubeCon Europe. Um, are there people who would like to add any items to the agenda today? Cool. Um, so this might go faster than time. Um, so I added these two topics actually. Um, I wanted to figure out, um, I think just generally what's our strategy to tackle, um, I think CDI. One of the objectives I was hoping to get done by this year was try to get an alpha version of um, CDI and maybe Podman or ContainerD um, and wanted to figure out basically whether we should pursue um, trying to put NRI in both Podman and ContainerD or if um, I think the path forward might be just a bare integration of CDI and Podman and trying to figure out how to integrate with NRI and ContainerD. Um, so fortunately, uh, I'm not seeing Mike Brown in um, the attendees, but I am seeing your Vashi um, in the attendees. So maybe your Vashi, um, if you have a, an idea of um, what would be the process uh, or what would be kind of um, steps that would help uh, make a decision um, around NRI and Podman. Um, um, sorry, I think I missed the first half of the question. Can you repeat that? Yeah. So I think like um, the, 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 the goal that we're trying to get to here is um, how can we get CDI and Podman? Right. Mm -hmm. And to me, there's like, at least the way that I'm looking at this is that there are two paths. We could either try to do this bare CDI integration inside the code base. And I think like I had one example where it gets you an idea of what kind of changes you'd be looking at. Uh, should Or the other alternative, so this one would be, um, there's like a package that's added that would be like imported from a different project. So it's kind of uh, not what you'd be looking at, but the package basically would expose something like a, um, a get spec for, for a specific device node. Um, let me actually walk through this property. Um, so this is something that I presented, uh, I think, um, back in September or October. Um, the idea was to just um, get a, give an, a rough idea of what would be the changes that would be required if we wanted to integrate CDI in a project like Podman. So um, instead of playing with multiple repositories, uh, I just added a, um, a, a directory CDI at the root of Podman. Um, the goal here is not to add a directory CDI at the root of Podman, but to load this directory from, or this package from um, the CDI repository. But um, it, it, it's a rough idea of um, where, or it gives you a rough idea to, 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 I mean, this is basically an MVP, right? Uh, trying to like get to, um, get to a demo as quickly as possible. So I have this file here that exposes two big functions. Um, get specification and update specific one has device and update specification. So get specification walks through um, all the runtimes um, in the runtime map and basically says um, this is the device um, and basically says I have this device where I do not have this device, right? And for this device, if, if I have a device, then this, this is the specification that you need to have. 
uh, has the voice basically says, uh, gets back and just says, well, is the specification different from no? And then update spec uh, for a given OCI config. Um, he, and for a given set of devices, what are the changes that need to be made? I mean, update these specifications, right? To make the changes to these, to the OCI specification. I'm sorry if I'm not making sense. Uh. No. no, yeah, this all makes sense. And I, I agree with the approach. Um, obviously all this would be in a separate CDI repo that Podman yep. would actually vendor in, right? Um, and I think with Podman, it's pretty simple that you can just use a flag. We can create a new flag mm -hmm. um, and you can pass in the name of the device node or whatever we can use to recognize where to pick the CDI um, plugin from basically. Uh, but I think the question comes like in terms of cryo and container D because yeah. those are talking to the kubelet over the CRI. So we wouldn't be creating flags there, but like, what is the plan? Like, how will the user specify the device to be used in the pod spec? Like, are we going to use an annotation or are we going to create a new field in the CRI API? Like, have we uh, discussed that before? We, we discussed it, but uh, let's not go away yet. Uh, so regarding the flux, uh, the idea behind, oh, initial idea was what uh, we want to reuse the same, amount, uh, the same flux. So uh, you, you already have uh, right now minus minus device uh, flux. Mm -hmm. So the argument to, to that flux uh, can be used in this library as a device argument. And regarding the kubelet, it's possible to do like several approaches. So mm -hmm. uh, right now we have the device plugin mechanism, which uh, again, also sends the device name. So we can reuse that uh, functionality for now until we get something better. And something better, it's a separate proposal, which will be on, built on top of the CDI. Okay. And Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, which part? Uh, the last sentence that you said, some, what is something better? Uh, well, it's what just I'm saying. The information went through my head and then like some somehow got, got lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what I say it is what uh, right now for Kubernetes, we are planning to use the existing device uh, plugin mechanism. Yep. Yep. So uh, the device name field will be expanded to on the CDI level. Yeah. And there are some other ideas how to imp implement it it's a, a bit differently, but what will be done, well, a bit later <laughs> as a separate proposal. Yeah. How, how do we plan to differentiate between like whatever the current existing device plugin uses and how to tell it that, okay, we want to use the CDI stuff instead? Well, well, we, 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 first of all, we don't need to distinguish. Okay. We just need to pass the argument to the CDI and uh, let's see if it, if, if it knows it. And second thing, uh, existing device plugins were sending the absolute pass uh, to, to the, well, as, as a device name. So slash dev something. Mm -hmm. And uh, CDI devices, we are expecting what it will be just like normal string, not, not actual device node. Okay. So if, if, we, if we really want to have uh, some safety uh, and distinguish those, then we can just check. So if uh, if device node on the host OS uh, present, then we assume it's normal device. If not, then just uh, let's check with CDI to see if, if it's a CDI device. Okay, so, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Um, yeah, so I think in the same, in very similar vein of what uh, Sander is saying, um, today we have the ability with the device plugin to pass annotations. Um, so that would be one way of enabling it at the cryo level or at the computer level. Um, in terms of um, what it looks like in Kubernetes, I think this is an AI that we really need to be taking in terms of like uh, making a presentation. 
uh, and starting something like a um, or at least a rough document uh, that leads to a cap. Uh, uh, Renaud, we, uh, we, have, uh, we have a proposal for that. Uh, oh, cool. and, actually, and actually, we have even a proof of concept. It's just stuck in our internal bureaucracy for uh, releasing this proof of concept code externally. So I, I really hope what uh, Ed and Ukri solve it and uh, I can show it. Do you want to take the eye to present it maybe on the next meeting, which is definitely not going to be the twenty two, the twenty second, but probably going to be the fifth. Uh, so it will be when January, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, January. Which one? January. January fifth. 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 Actually, like, should oh. we move it one more week and put it January 12th? Because I'm kind of suspecting everyone's still going to be coming back from holidays and catching up on the fifth. Yeah, my, my day, my day. At least like in Finland, six of uh, its uh, public holidays. So. Yeah. Um, so let's let's move the next. I, I might. Yeah. Jan 12th. Well, well, let's target on that, and I hope we will solve our bureaucracy items before that. Um, and then I think one last answer to you, Yurvashi, is that in my mind, this is something that is very similar to what Alex is saying. Um, what happens is that the kubelet is just passing a name in the device, mm -hmm. uh, in the device. I mean, basically, it's still passing a device in the, in the cry uh, API. Um, we don't change the cry API. Uh, the CRI API is yeah. um, we, we really just pass a device and the name of the device is like, instead of being dev uh, SDA one or dev NVIDIA zero, um, it's um, NVIDIA zero or mm -hmm. NVIDIA GPU one, right? It's, it's a, it's a, it's not a, it's not a path. It's a name and that, that would be what like, you would name on your on in your CDI file, right? Well, not not OCI, uh, not not file, but well, oh, sorry, I, I give is a within CDI spec. Yes. So in your CDI spec, when you define these devices, you'd say, and so maybe that name that you're passing down is vendor.com slash device slash device equals my device. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think um, if we can get that PR that you showed, like the CDI stuff set up, then we can, even in Podman and like Cry, I guess, we can create a sort of work in progress PR or something using that and like, yep. getting that working. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, I, I agree actually with that approach. So let's, let's do first uh, with, like minimal PR to like cryo container D and uh, Podman mm -hmm. uh, and see what kind of feedback we get. And as soon as NRI will progress to the level what we can use when we will switch it to NRI. Yeah, I think like that's- remo uh, Removing is easier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, especially if it's behind like a, a feature flag or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I can clean up my PR. I think uh, with regards to NRI, um, there's discussion in progress. I think I'm thinking of just making a PR that to CDI, to NRI to just integrate CDI, but not do anything basically. Just be able to read the spec, the CDI spec for my plugin um, and, and, and update it, but not pass it up to Qubit. I think this is more something that Michael Crosby would be more familiar with, and I'm less comfortable like getting in there. Um, I think uh, he has more experience with that. Um, so concretely, the next uh, steps. Sorry, can yeah. you elaborate? I, I, I didn't get you. Uh... Oh, uh, basically for Podman, what we're saying is we need to get a PR no, no, I, 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 I was talking about this NRI, like yeah. you, you mentioned something. So for like NRI, this. I think my next step is basically going to be, so you know how there's like container D changes. 
and then there's NRM changes, and then there would be CDI changes. That's kind of the three main repositories that we're talking about. Uh, what I'm talking about is today there's no link between NRM and CDI, right? Um, so what I'm suggesting is just make a PR that makes the link between NRI and CDI so that NRI plugins can uh, talk CDI. Does that make sense? Mm, I was actually thinking of like the other way around. So CDI becomes a plugin uh, to NRI. So it gets hooked to pre-create container and when uh, get with spec with, and modify spec. But the, the problem with that approach is that um, basically, if CDI is an NRI plugin, that means that CDI needs to be doing these different operations to update the spec manually. Uh, so for example, uh, invoking uh, or uh, changing the C groups, right? Uh, why? No, no, no. Like, uh, the same approach. So, uh, like NRI should call the CDI as a plugin, saying like, "This is the container I want to create," and pass mm -hmm. the uh, OCI spec down. Yep. Yep. And as as a return, it should be getting like we modified spec. So. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. That's that's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, I think what I'm saying is that um, the NRI. Um, subsystem that I know I repository should be invoked, should be able to talk to plugins using the CDI protocol, basically, meaning that an NRI, um, the NRI system should be able to invoke an NRI plugin, right? And that plugin uh, returns a CDI message. Uh, Remo, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm talking about a bit different thing. So I, I think we're uh, saying the same thing. Yeah, uh, well, 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 I'm, well, having well strugg I'm struggling finding the right words. <laughs> uh, end result is the same, but the communication a bit different. So I'm talking about a bit more generic approach. So it will, on an NRI side, it will be no hard coding or no assumptions about the CDI itself. I'm just saying like in, on NRI side, it should be just a generic hook which says, this is the container I'm going to create. And any NRI plugin can return a modification to that spec. Yeah. So not, not, not a CDI specific, but generic uh, mechanism. Yeah, I think, I think we're saying something exactly the same thing. It's just that I'm, having str I'm struggling finding the right words this morning. <laughs> yeah. um, I, if there are any differences, we can probably figure it out in the in the PR. Um, but I think yeah, I'm, I think I'll take you a step by step approach for container D and NRA. Um, actually, if if people want to start contributing, like feel free to do so and preempt me. I might just focus on PubMed. Yeah, uh, regarding the contributing, so uh, as we discussed it earlier, Christian created were um, well our comments about the NRI in the NRI repository. So yeah, I, I think like your issue was like number two and now one is like number three or something like that. Uh, so if you, yeah, if, if you have time, please, please have a look because practically what, uh, what we summarize it in that issue, it was exactly this uh, like generic mechanism where we can, uh, well, intercept like majority of the things um, in, uh, in NRI. Yeah, so this one. Yeah, yeah. I need to subscribe to it. I'll, I'll log into GitHub a bit later. Uh, yeah, so please have a look on, the, on this issue. And if you have some comments, please comment. I think he didn't see the issue, by the way, unless you pinged him. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> At least we haven't got any comments. <laughs> Gamecon Europe, do we want to submit something, especially considering two things? We are less likely to get a spot given that we just presented a talk at Gamecon US. Um, the deadline is next Monday, and I don't think we've made significant progress that would kind of deserve a different topic. Um, also, um, it's a lot of work. 
So uh, if if PR to this Podman cryo and container D can be merged quick enough, when what can be a part of a topic? So can you repeat that, like, sir? like uh, deep dive on how it's integrated to cryo Podman and uh, container D, how uh, CDI files are. Uh, like look like and how how a common line usage is look like. So this kind of presentation can potentially work. Um, I, I wonder if this is something that we should present like a year from now. Um, uh, it's May, so we have about like five months. Is it? I thought it was uh, March. You, no, um, I think it was May. Yeah, I think it's in May. May 4th to 7th. Okay, so I mean, do you want to take the lead on uh, issuing a panel or uh, a... Alex? I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what the panel will, uh, will be possible. We can try. Or, okay. or, or, we can, or we can try to ask it as a maintainer session. I don't know. Like, yeah. a, like we, 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 within the runtime struck as a maintainer session. Okay. Um, I think like, do you wanna, do you wanna be pick on this one and um, try to figure out what's the best path for this? Uh, feel free to reach out to the right people. I think the, the only thing that I would like kind of suggest is to keep the group up to date on the SIG runtime distribution list. Yeah. Cool. Um, and everyone that's interested in participating, feel free to reach out to Alexander. So, uh, Rana, uh, I, I don't know. Like, um, so the normal CFP is for like normal track sessions, but I, I think like all kind of like maintenance track, like uh, intro deep dives and so on. I think we're following some our process for submissions. So no, like we're user, working, it, you don't it, get a dedicated test session. Uh, we get to go through the uh, normal, the same track as everyone else. Um, I talked about this with um, Ricardo, um, the who's the um, the chair of SIG Runtime, and um, that's just like we're a work group. We don't get a dedicated. Uh, okay, because I, I thought what, well, at least when I was more involved in the C cluster life cycle, I, I remember what were like were with sub projects like uh, Pube Spray, you know, Pube ADM, we had like separate maintenance track. Well, anyway, well, fine. So I mean, when, yeah. this, this is definitely possible, and I can see that because of the size of these projects and probably the fact that the community has evolved too. I'm, I think we we might not be there yet exactly. <laughs> well, I, I don't think we've got the same adoption as something like you've had. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, feel free to reach out to Ricardo, by the way. Um, he's on the CNCF Slack, so and he's he's very approachable. Uh, Ricardo and last name? Uh, Aaron Neva. Uh, He's also, you have his name also in the Aravina, okay. sorry about that. Uh, he is on the uh, Sigrun time. Um, his name is on the Sigrun time. Uh, okay. So, uh, so this web session, uh, I can probably draft in the next couple of days some small abstract for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, who wants to be a co-speaker? So I know, I assume you are. Right? I don't, I don't. <laughs> you don't? No. Why? It's, you, it's your open time. <laughs> I, I, also, I also feel that's not like, it's not like as the shepherd of this community, I feel like it's not my role to always be uh, the person speaking about it. I think it's a great opportunity for other people in the community to, um, to, 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 to have exposure and to participate. Okay. 
So, uh, Orvashu, what, what about you? Uh, maybe you can talk with Murnal if he wants. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm down to talk, but I'm also down to not talk. So I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, my, my idea of a talk is something what, like, we have, we have devices. Well, we have spec. We, we can show how the devices are uh, defined. When we have uh, container runtimes, which actually consume it. And for this second part, I need somebody <laughs> who is more familiar when you is with the topic. So uh, I don't know, like uh, somebody from Container D or from Cryo would mm -hmm. be the best candidates. All right. I mean, I'm fine with that. Maybe we can also ask Mike Brown, like if he wants yeah. to do it as well. So. Okay, I'll I'll probably send in which uh, so uh, I'll draft the uh, abstract. Let's see how it looks like, and when uh, I'll send it in our Slack chat. If it's a panel, feel free to invite Michael Crosby. Oh, absolutely, yes. And I can always help edit the video again if needed. Good. Cool. Uh, I think that's the last one. Um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, and I think you're all getting back 25 minutes. So have a great day or uh, end of day for people in Europe. And I have no idea how that works out for other people in the world, but I know that uh, Alexander is in Europe. So that's why I mentioned Europe. <laughs> Well, Christian and Antje is from our, our company, same time zone, Finland. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have yeah, a great one, everyone. Thank Thanks. You. Bye. you too. Bye. Bye. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.